In this video, you'll learn about MetaMask, a crypto wallet for computers and smartphones. Learn to create and import the wallet, to add custom networks and tokens, to receive and send cryptocurrencies and NFTs, as well as to connect and interact with any of the apps through your wallet. Subscribe to the channel and let's get started. MetaMask Wallet is one of the most popular tools for managing your crypto assets and interacting with decentralized applications, for example decentralized exchangers like PancakeSwap, about which we have made a video, or with platforms for launching tokens and profitability optimizers. Let's start by installing the wallet. You can install MetaMask as the extension for your browser or an application for your phone based on iOS or Android. All links for installing MetaMask will be in the description. After installation, click on Get Started, then you'll be redirected to the options for importing and creating a new wallet. We will show you the process of creating and importing the wallet on a computer. On a mobile device, both procedures are done in exactly the same way. If you own other cryptocurrency wallets, for example Trust Wallet or SafePal, you can import your phrase from these wallets into MetaMask. We told you how to extract your seed phrase from popular wallets in our video about Trust Wallet. By importing your seed phrase into a new wallet, your old wallet is not deleted. You simply manage your funds using a different interface. To import, enter your seed phrase and password, then click on import. Your wallet will be added to MetaMask and will be ready to use. If you don't have a seed phrase or you want to create a new wallet, click on create a wallet on the home page. Create a password and then click on the blurred field. The words that appear you should write down or save them in a safe space. Having lost these words, you will lose access to all your cryptocurrency assets. After rewriting the words, click next and arrange them in the correct order by clicking on one after another. After placing the words and clicking on confirm, you could now properly use your wallet. The mobile app also has an option to synchronize with the extension. With it you can quickly and easily connect your smartphone to the wallet on your computer. To do this, go to the wallet settings on your computer. And in the advanced tab, select sync with mobile. After entering the password, scan the QR code using the application on your smartphone by clicking on scan. By default, the wallet will work on the Ethereum network, with which you can work with all tokens of the ERC20 network. If you want to interact with tokens from another network, such as Binance Smart Chain or Polygon, you can add custom networks. To do this on PC, click on the current network and in the drop down menu select custom RPC. And to do this on a smartphone, go to options, then to settings, and in the networks tab click add. Enter the data that you see here in the correlated fields. You can also find this data for Binance Smart Chain network in the description. After you have entered the data, save the changes. Now you can interact with Binance Smart Chain Network, receive and send BNB, NFTs and other tokens from this network. Please note that your address in the Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum network will be the same. To receive tokens, it being ordinary coins or NFTs, you need to use your address, which you can copy by clicking on it in the wallet interface. After sending tokens to your wallet, you may notice that your balance didn't change. This is one of the features of MetaMask. The wallet only does what the user has requested. Therefore, in order for tokens to be displayed on the wallet balance, they must be added. We'll be adding Z tokens as an example. To do this, click on the Add Token button. In the window that opens, you need to provide the token smart contract address. You can find it on the Blockchain Network Explorer. For example, BS Scan for tokens in the Binance Smart Chain Network and Ether Scan for tokens on the Ethereum Network or services like CoinMarketCap. Links to all resources can be found in the description. Since we're adding a token to the Binance Smart Chain Network, we copy the contract for this particular network by looking up in the logo and title. After you've typed the smart contract address, the remaining data will be filled by itself. You will just have to confirm the token addition. Tokens will be displayed on your balance and you will be able to interact with them. NFTs are added in the same way. On PC, click Add Token. And on mobile, go to the NFTs tab and click on Add NFTs. Next, you will need to provide the address of the NFT smart contract, and in the case with the mobile app, you will need also an ID. We can get this data in the Blockchain Explorer, where you can also see your entire transaction history. To get the necessary data, find the address of your wallet. In the drop down list, tokens with the ERC721 or ERC1155 standard will be NFTs. Click on the desired token. On the page that opens, you will find the smart contract address and the ID. Enter them in the correlated fields and confirm the addition of tokens. NFTs will be displayed in the wallet. In the mobile app, in most cases, you will be able to preview the NFT. To send a token, select an asset in your wallet and click send. 
Then enter the recipient's address and the number of tokens you want to send. The default commission will be standard and sufficient for successful sending. However, if you wish, you can change the commission, increasing it and thereby speeding up the transaction or vice versa. For transfers on the Ethereum network, the commission will be charged in Ethereum and in the Binance Smart Chain, respectively in BNB. Confirm the transaction. Sending NFT on a computer is similar to sending a regular token. However, on your smartphone, go to the NFTs tab, select the desired NFT to send and click send. Then follow the procedure for sending regular tokens. MetaMask has a built-in token exchange function at the best price based on several liquidity aggregators. However, please note that MetaMask charges a fee of 0.8% of the exchange amount for internal exchanges. We will show you the exchange process in the wallet on a computer. On mobile, all actions will be the same. To exchange your tokens, select the desired asset and click swap. Select the token which you want to get in return and enter the amount of tokens to exchange. You can also change the slippage value, it reflects the maximum amount of price change at which your exchange will still be completed. In most cases, 0.5% will be sufficient. The approximate amount of tokens you will receive in return and the commission will be calculated. If everything suits you, click swap. The exchange will take place almost instantly and the tokens will appear in your wallet. Tokens are added automatically, you don't need to do this manually during the transaction. In MetaMask, you can import only one seed phrase at a time. However, you can alternatively import private keys or create new accounts. All new accounts created will belong to one seed phrase and there can be 1000, 5000 or more accounts. To add a new account, in the wallet on the computer, in the wallet options, click create account and name the account. You can switch between existing accounts and the wallet options. In the mobile app, also go to the options, click on the current account and then on create new account. A new account will be created and you can switch between existing accounts by clicking on the current one. It should be noted that all accounts you have added will be visible only in MetaMask interface. Using the same seed, for example in Trust Wallet, you could only use the first account. On PC, there is also a feature to connect a Ledger or Trezor hardware wallet, which will give you an increased level of security. You can connect MetaMask to decentralized applications by selecting the wallet in the connection menu of dApps in the case of a PC wallet, or by selecting connection using Wallet Connect and scanning the QR code in the appropriate option in the smartphone application. In settings, among other things, you can also change the language, currency and profile avatar, and also add context to your address book to reduce the risk of a phishing attack. In the security settings, you can export your seed phrase. If you want to import a new seed phrase, exit the wallet and click on the text link under the login form. Be careful, this action will delete your previous wallet, double check that you have saved the seed phrase in a safe space. If today's video seemed elementary to you, expect an additional part where we go more in depth where we will analyze the complex functionality of the wallet. Subscribe to our Twitter, Krypton Live, and YouTube channel. All links can be found in the description.